Savage Crap to all my fellow carpenters out there. Creative Thoughts series lures construction, tools and machines. In this uh, second episode I am we keep uh, building and finish a wire bending loop forming machine. If you are interested in uh, how I ended up to this point, here web link to the first episode. Before jumping to it, please subscribe to my channel and uh, ring the bell for future videos notification. And now, with that being said, let's to build some and uh, let's to have fun with! Ok guys, uh, I'm uh, keep building and uh, assembling my wire bending loop forming machine. Watch the first episode of this series please to understand where I am right now. about the device uh, section that bends uh, wire. This hole was made by a lathe. However, you can simply achieve the same result by welding a bearing like this one. And now what I just meant is going to become clear. As already told uh, about other machine parts, also this component was made by simply cutting and drilling an inch door like uh, this one. Holes were drilled use an auto-centering drill bit first to achieve precise space between them. As I represented on my sketch, to bend a wire with a diameter of 0.8 mm, the two holes must be drilled with a distance between them of 1 mm. I drilled uh, several holes with the proper distance between to handle wires with a diameter of 0 0.8, 1 and 1.2 mm. Once uh, the holes are drilled, I proceed with a M3 thread. Be careful cause a M3 thread cutter is really tiny. Move the tool clockwise, counterclockwise often, proceeding with caution cause it can easily snap. I'm proceeding now by drilling the other side of the component.
and uh, I finish the piece with uh, M6 thread. Now that uh, the main component uh, is ready, I proceed by assembling the device section that uh, bends and uh, forms the wire loop. My wire bending loop forming machine is finally done. I never worked with such device before. I never touched one in my life and it was entirely built from scratch and I'm really really proud of it. The loop forming machine has two devices. The first one that bends and forms the loop. the other section of the machine where I can twist and close the loop off. One important hint is that while I'm twisting, I must push the handle in. The spring that I was previously testing, I decide for a single spring, is there to implement tension. If I don't apply any pressure, if while I'm twisting I don't push the handle in, this is what's happened.
Ok, my fellow carpenters, uh, one more project is done. Here, a couple of web links from my Creative Thoughts series playlist, Lures, Construction, Tools and Machines. In uh, this video, a mini hood late review to turn lure blanks. And here, another uh, video episode about hood carbide tip late chisels construction. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching.